My name is uh, Francesco Lo Giudice, is an Italian name, and my position is currently a consultant cardiologist. I work at uh, Imperial College, NHS Trust, and specifically in Hammersmith Hospital in um, London. I mean, when you are a, a young student at secondary school, uh, I decide to go for medicine, um, start and join most probably scientific subjects. So I was more interested in, uh, uh, yes, biology, uh, physics, all this kind of stuff. I wasn't very good in math. So um, and really, uh, I like to explore more about uh, how the uh, body works and uh, yeah, especially biology. And, um, and then uh, with time, I discovered that probably medicine, I was at a certain point unsure about that or medicine, but at the end I used, I, I, I chose for humans and human being. And, um, and this is uh, the path for me to go and start medicine that I, I like to enjoy. It's a long journey and you have to study a lot, but when you like it, then the time goes and so it gets easier. Uh, yeah, so at the beginning, my idea was to become a surgeon, and I was more interested in cardiac surgery. Uh, but after exploring more in details what the uh, professions do and not going to the hospital, trying to understand uh, what their life is like, I understood that I was more interested in the uh, diagnostic process, to, to all the process to talk to the patient and investigate understand, try to understand what was wrong, and then uh, doing something procedural means something practical. So cardiology is compared to surgery in general, cardiac surgery, uh, allows you to go all through the process. And uh, at the time when, um, was that a few years ago, unfortunately, but at the time, uh, cardiology was at the beginning of a uh, of, uh, new uh, development development and I mean a new evolution of uh, treatment and procedures uh, where we were at the beginning of um, catheter procedures and uh, procedures on the valves and so was possible as a cardiologist to work uh, doing more medical job but together also some practical uh, job um, and practical job like procedural jobs and what I like the most. So, I mean, I would say trying to do the best to help people, make them feeling better and um, improve, yeah, uh, the quality of life, but also the idea also to try to solve the problem so they can go back to the um, uh, um, health condition. Um, so the relationship with uh, patients, and this is, um, yeah, I think this is the main thing, and having also good uh, feedback from that, because uh, when they are happy, satisfied by what they get, uh, it's uh, really important. I guess what the value for me is, uh, I'm quite trying to be open and trying to explain the things uh, in a clear way. I don't really like the medical terms and, you know, talking with uh, um, explicable and, and not easy to understand terms to patients. They need to understand what's wrong. And, uh, and in the process of... Uh, Let's say healing is important to have the commitment and the um, have a good relationship with the patient because the involvement, active involvement of this patient is very important to reach a, a goal uh, that is um, is a common goal. I mean, they they want to feel better. Uh, I have to explain how to reach that point, uh, but they need to be part of the process. If not. Um, is it only one way communication doesn't work? So probably what they, they like that I might um, try to be friendly and um, uh, clear.
and um, open and give my email address and communications if they have any issues any doubts they write me uh, so it's, it's not something that ends at the time of the of the consultation by so on uh, what I, I I learn, I learn a lot all the time. I met a new, a new patient, a new person, and uh, with the specific issues, I always uh, learn more uh, all the time from uh, all of them. A single case is different from any other. Uh, so uh, it's a good way to uh, try to make you and um, become a probably a better professional. Uh, so yeah, and after more than 20 years, unfortunately of experience, I still uh, keep learning from, from those uh, um, th th those experiences, you know, those met meetings. But what I try to explain to people that, um, as I mentioned before, to feel better and heal from a condition is that you need to be an active process. So when I say take care of yourself, so think about what's wrong. And there isn't a magic pill to solve the problem. Uh, it's important that um, people understand that. Um, I, I want, I'm not happy to prescribe medication just to prescribe medications uh, is it, if in the, the, the person needs a medication case to help but need to be um, change of mindsets could be lifestyle uh, could be a physical activity diet uh, is a more holistic approach to um, condition that can uh, feel you unwell and you feel unwell but not because you have a single problems, but need to be addressed from different point of view. So I would say, take care of yourself. Think about that in trying to act now to avoid even more problems later on.